Hi folks, I'm Matt and welcome to My Expanding Universe, a show where I go through the entire EU in chronological order as best I know how. You want a wet willy? Ha <laughs> ha! Boy, what a sore head. Anyway, forget him. And forget Star Wars Empire. We are shifting gears and talking about Star Wars Rebellion now. <laughs> it's the series that came up to replace Empire because they said, hey, why not just call a spade a spade and just do something called Star Wars Rebellion where we focus on, <gasps> lo and behold, the Rebellion. So where do you start with this? Of course you start with Issue Zero. Uh, issue Zero uh, came out in a flip, they call it a flip book even though that's so misleading. A flip book means you flip it over to one side Side, there's, um, I think it was Knights of the Old Republic Zero, and you flip it upside down, and then there's the cover to Rebellion Issue Zero. And now this one was written by Thomas Andrews, and this one basically, the rebels go on a mission to rescue <laughs> some people who, a prisoner of war from the Battle of Jabim. So they're still harping on Jabim's notoriety and success for great storytelling, right? So Zero gives us a little short insight to uh, them going off and rescuing rescuing uh, some of those prisoners from their last battle from the Empire comic books. Now, before I go any further and talk about issues one through five, I do have to give a spoiler alert. I didn't want to do it in the last video, but I'm definitely going to do it here. Because issues one through five were written by uh, Rob Williams. And in this, Janet Tambor discovers it was Luke who really destroyed the Death Star. and he goes and reports that to Vader. And as you know, Janik was from the last run from Star Wars Empire, that lieutenant with, you know, loyalty only toward the Empire. And to prove his loyalty, he went straight to Darth Vader to reveal the name of the pilot who destroyed the Death Star. Now, to be honest, I don't know if the author didn't realize that this had already been done before. And so, uh, thankfully though, on the la this happened in the very first issue, he goes in, speaks to Lord Vader, and there's Lord Vader, and then we go off to it, and the next comic book just goes off to another story. So we're, we're led to believe that he went and reported it and told Vader who the pilot was. But it's obviously uh, that Janek did not know that he knew, but he, it's just showing this guy's loyalty and love for the Empire. Remember, I told you I like him as a character. Now my spoiler information is that uh, Lieutenant Tambor is actually Tank from Luke's childhood on Tatooine. If you remember in the uh, A New Hope, Luke says, you know, Biggs and Tank left for the Empire a long time ago or Imperial Academy or whatever. So Tank has already mentioned before, he's mentioned in other source material, you know, as Luke's uh, boyhood friend, but we never find out what happened to him. Well, this kind of just reveals everything to you, right? Here's Tank. He's actually been hopping around from one dead outpost to the next, and then when he finally gets a chance to fight the uh, Rebellion, he is full gung-ho Empire. And Luke can't believe that, because Tank should see how evil the Empire is. But remember, and this makes so much sense, I'm going to call him Tank from now on. Tank has been on several outposts. He hasn't seen action. All he's heard is the propaganda, which he totally believes. He just recently got placed in action, so he's holding firm to what he's been listening and hearing, and even though he's never been seeing action, he believes the Empire is a force for good. And on his point of view, and this is why this conflict is so great, it makes perfect sense. From his point of view, Luke is a childhood friend. Luke had a good heart. Luke was a good kid. And that Luke was responsible for blowing up the Death Star, oh, that was so horrible to him. Because to him, the Death Star was exactly what the propaganda said it would be. It's total protection from everyone within the Empire. You know, now no one, space pirates will never uh, beat us again. Those rowdy, chaotic re rebels, they'll will never bother us again. We will finally establish peace throughout the galaxy. And that's what Tank thought. That's what he believed. And to understand that Luke was the guy who came in there, blew the whole plan up, and probably, in Tank's mind, you know, was drinking Corellian whiskey while he was doing it, saying, Woohoo, let's party now! Let's shoot a bunch of stormtroopers! You know, so Tank is just going nuts. I cannot believe Luke. Luke was such a good guy, and look what he's turned into. And of course, on the other spectrum of it, Luke's doing the same thing. He's like, Tank, how can you be so naive? 
but both stories make sense if you see from where the, the, the points of view. Now, I love this point. Now, this isn't the first time we've seen someone from the Empire, right, say, oh, wait, the Empire's bad, and then shed their uniform and then join the rebellion. I mean, heck, even Episode 7 ripped that story off. So it's been done to death a million times. Why this actual story put weight in, in, in it, from my, in my opinion, there's a lot of weight in this because it's from an already established character from the expanded universe and, and, and a one-off mention, the movies as well. So I, I, I really felt more connected to Tank and I understood his point of view. And yes, he and Luke are going to uh, clash again. And, you know, he, he's, uh, Tank's heart is going to be tested. His loyalty to the Empire, is he going to see what they are? I'm going to save all that information for later. You have to read the series to find out. But in my opinion, what an excellent start for Star Wars Rebellion is to come with this five-point story arc, basically jumping off the storyline from Empire, where Empire left off. This one picks right back up. And I think it is actually a pretty good story. So it's actually well worth your time. Now, issue six... Oh, oh wait. I'll talk about that next time with another video.